All right, I'm going to get started. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out this afternoon uh, to help us celebrate our 36th year celebrating uh, Arbor Day in Tree City, USA, here in the city of Reading. Um, partnered here with the mayor, uh, Moran, today uh, to celebrate Arbor Day and be, being uh, the Tree City, USA designee uh, once again. This year's event involved various plantings conducted here in City Park and up in Eggleman's Park. Um, we have 10, 10 trees here in City Park and two that were planted up in Eggleman's. Uh, one of the other things that we wanted to make note is that the trees that were planted in here today and down below in, in the lower end of City Park is in a remembrance, remembrance of those who have passed away from COVID-19. Shows that lives do live on and there's always new growth happening. Uh, the trees are always symbol, uh, symbolic of life being present and the blessings that they have. Uh, for, for now and in the future. Um, at this point in time, I'm gonna turn it over to Councilwoman uh, Hinnerschitz, if she has a few words. Okay, T today is so important. Reading thrives by its commitment to nature. And as you see, we're Tree City USA, we've been honored by that, but it's because we know how important trees are to the vibrancy of our city. These trees planted today have a special significance because we've uh, experienced the tragedies and the loss of lives to COVID. It's important to have these trees here so family members can come to City Park and remember their loved ones. So I'd like to be able to ask everyone who comes to City Park each year to come and visit these trees and be able to use them as a way of counting our blessings. I look forward to continued planting of trees, and I know that Mayor Moran and our Public Works Department are integral in keeping Tree City USA a part of Reading's legacy. Thank you, Marsha. Um, I want to first uh, 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 say what a beautiful day it is uh, to recognize Harvard Day. I want to first thank uh, Lester and Public Works for the commitment, uh, continued commitment, and beautifying our city. As he stated, this is our 36th year that the city of Reading is being recognized by uh, Arbor uh, USA, correct? Arbor, uh, Arbor, Day, Arbor, Day Arbor Day Foundation. And uh, however, I cannot go any further without also acknowledging uh, the forces from MedEd who have uh, come, uh, have contributed to um, this year's um, uh, with a grant to beautify our, our, our city and uh, with the cost of the planting of the trees. So thank you. We are grateful. If you want to share a word. Uh, we're happy to be a part of it, and thank you for the opportunity. Indeed, yeah. Um, you know, I always share, I always say that we're in this together, and uh, we have to create synergy to beautify our community. So this is obviously um, a, 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 a way to do so. Um, I want to read a proclamation that um, uh, I was able to extend today. Um, this is my second year in City Hall, and this day is very special to me because, again, a lot of people um, talk about uh, the city of Reading um, not being the cleanest sometimes, but yet here we are being recognized uh, nationally. So, again, thank you for your commitment, Lester. Um, it reads, as well as in 1872, Julius Sterling Morton, who would become Secretary of Agriculture under President Grover Cleveland, proposed to the Nebraska Board of Agriculture that a special day be set aside for planting of trees. And whereas the resulting holiday, Arbor Day, was first observed with the planting of more than one million trees in Nebraska. And whereas Arbor Day is now recognized throughout the nation and the world, uh, reminding us that one person's initiative can make a lasting and meaningful differences. And Whereas the city of Reading supports a safe, healthy, and sustainable urban forest environment and has been recognized as a Tree City USA by the Arbor Day Foundation for decades. And whereas the year 2020 marked the beginning of a deadly pandemic that struck the world, taking close to 200 residents uh, right here in the city of Reading in memory of the lost ones, we planted various trees, trees throughout the city as a symbolic of life, honor, respect, and love. And whereas trees can reduce the erosion of our precious topsoil by wind and water, 
cut heating and cooling costs, moderate the temperature, clean the air, produce life, giving oxygen, and provide habitat for wildlife. And whereas the trees in our city increase property value, enhance the econ economic viability of business areas and beautify our community. And whereas the city takes pride in being ecologically responsible in numerous practices and processes and encourages residents to do the same. Now, therefore, I, Eddie Moran, Mayor of the City of Reading, do hereby proclaim April 30th, 2021 as Arbor Day. Again, it gives me true pleasure to um, not only plant these seeds uh, with the help of public work, but in the symbolic of recognizing the lives that were lost here in the city of Reading. We should pay uh, honor to them whenever anyone is in the city or in City Park, please come and um, have a moment of silence for those that we lost. So thank you once again. Thank you, Lester. Thank you, Public Works. Thank you, Mered. And may you all have a wonderful day. Thank you. You did, right? Thank you. Here you all go. right. Here's the rest of it. Yeah. <laughs>